Okay. What's on your mind? Alright, let's see if we can't ask him about phlegm. Ah. We can ask him about uh, Mick Flem and uh, is it Deek or Beak? Let's let's start with Mick first. Sorry, Mike. Oh, come on. Can't help you there. All right. Well, what about him? Sorry, Mike. Oh. Can't help you there. That's crazy because apparently, like this guy was supposed to be, you know, the the person you came to whenever you wanted to know something. Okay. Hmm. So we can't get anything from him. I guess we're gonna have to start asking people about uh, these these two. You look hungry. Um, play really dumb. Well, uh, heck, that wouldn't be too hard with all the <laughs> delicious food you have around here, but I just need to ask you a few more questions. Perfect. All right, so let's ask her about, I'm assuming we can ask her about both of the guys, right? Yeah. Sorry. Huh. Ask me about something else. Okay, uh, what about him? Can't help you, Tex. Interesting. So nothing with these, t hmm. All right, well, I guess let's uh, go outside. Maybe our uh, friend Chelsea at the newsstand might know something. Let's go have a little chat with her. What can I do for you, Tex? All right, let's ask about, I guess let's ask about Rusty in case you... Oh, I remember Rusty. Yeah. He had a kid show on TV when I was young. Oh yeah, it's show. horrifying. I don't that blame you. Makeup, ooh, always scared me. Okay, so nothing too re re relevatory there. What about Mick? Sorry, I haven't hmm. heard anything about that. So nothing about the suspect, but what about this gentleman? Oh, ah, yeah, I know Beak. Okay, it's Beak. If you want to talk to him, you might try hanging out. Around ah, him. okay, very good. All right, so Coit Tower is the place to find Beak. Thanks so much. And let's try asking uh, Rook, just in case he knows something as well. What else can I help you with, Murphy? Um, let's see. Let's ask Rusty first. I don't know anything about that. Really? He kind of worked on the street. All right, let's ask about uh, Mick. I don't know anything about that. We think he's the guy who robbed your store, but we can't prove it yet. I don't know anything about that. Okay. Uh, let's exit to Alley and talk to our, uh, dumpster friend. Ask away. Apparently that chocolate pie went a long way. Um, let's see. Let's ask about Beak. Oh, don't know a thing about it. Huh. Uh, anything about Mick? Sorry. Can't help you with Okay. That. So that's just about everyone. So I guess now we have to travel to, uh, Coit Tower. That seems like the, the likely course of action. Going for a stroll. <laughs> I walk up the steps to Coit Tower and spot a small figure. Ah, excellent. In the half light, I can see only the person's profile, but it's definitely Beak. As I walk towards him, he glances around, then approaches me warily, <laughs> like a vegetarian sizing up a pot pie. Okay, I, I like that imagery. How's it going, Beak? What are you staring at? Nothing. Um. Let's say, uh, establish who we are. You must be Beak Norris. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's me. But I ain't smelled beak. you before. Wait, does Go he actually have you. a beak? Um... Refer to Chelsea. I'm a friend of Chelsea Bando. You told me I could probably find you nosing around yeah. up here. Let's be straight with this guy. Yeah, oh! Yeah, Chelsea, oh my god! Big, nice look up. He's like half elephant. So, uh, what do you want? Um... Let's go investigate it. You said you might give me a lead on who robbed Rook's pawn shop. Maybe yeah, maybe no. Ooh. What are you going to give me for the info? I mean, what do you want? Uh, man, what does this guy want? Uh, surgery gift certificate, maybe? Okay, I can use this. My nose has started sagging lately. Yeah, get, it hard to get a nose now, tuck? What kind of info are you looking for, huh? I like this guy. I love this energy. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's ask him about everything since we got him here. I haven't got any info on that. Uh, what about Chelsea? Chelsea. Mm, smart girl and a real looker to boot. She's got a cute little nose. Oh, please don't tell me you have nose thing. Uh, of course you've got a nose thing, don't you? 
I can't help you there. Uh, what about Francesca? She runs that pizza place with her husband, Sal. I don't know much about her. A true Italian knows, though. Oh, God. Uh, what about Sal? He lets his wife run the pizza joint. I don't know what he does. Oh, he's the a professional adulterer. about who he does. <laughs> you can tell he drinks a lot by that snozz of his. Apparently, you can tell everything about a person through their nose. You just have to be I observant. I haven't got any info on that. Who's this colonel? I know a little about him. Runs a pretty successful PI business. Okay. Uh, what about Crusade? Big trouble. It's causing mutant blood to boil, and I don't want to be around when the bullets start flying. Fair enough, fair enough. What about Mac? Anyone with a hunker like that can't be all bad. Malden's no rocket scientist. But I hear that he's not on the take. Okay. I've helped him out a couple of times, so he leaves me alone. Okay, okay. Uh, what well, can you tell me about the bracelet? The bracelet is the bait Mick Flem uses for the pawn uh, shop robberies. Okay. And what about the burglary? Rook's pawn shop was robbed by a two-bit crook named Mick Flem. Yep, Flem. that we know. He and his girlfriend have knocked off half a dozen pawn shops over the past month. The girl goes to a pawn shop and hawks a bracelet for yeah. a decent amount yeah. of cash. Then Flam breaks into the pawn shop and steals the bracelet. I mean, it seems Along like a pretty easy, a pretty easy uh, grift or 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 scheme, I should say. What about Rusty? I think he's dead, and I'll bet Mick Flam had something to yeah, do with it. Yeah, that is definitely Word true. Was the two of them were smuggling illegal novelty items from Hong Kong, and Rusty crossed Flam. Okay. Ever since Rusty disappeared, Flam has had a terrible fear of clowns. Bozo. Phobia. Bozophobia. <laughs> I once saw Flem pretty drunk, and he said he had nightmares of Rusty's ghost coming back. And we have a, a Rusty doll. He was completely terrified. So maybe we can use that to get him to, like, I don't know, maybe confess? Okay, um, tell us about yourself. Oh, I'm nobody. I just try to keep my nose clean. And yeah, I get ground. That's good. That's good. I enjoy that pun. Oh, no. Or was that vice versa? Mick Flam's rap sheet would take a day to read. He's a oh, I've read scum. it. Oh, he's yeah. An idiot to boot. That's why he's always getting caught. He's been busted for burglary, mail fraud, arson, you name it. Everyone knows he operates out of the Snow White warehouse. Ah. But don't tell him. The Snow White warehouse? Wait, what? Where, where's the Snow White warehouse? Huh. Hmm. I think that's everything. Huh. Ah, the once majestic Chandler Avenue. There's enough radiation in this <laughs> asphalt to fry an egg on Christmas morning. Okay. Uh, All right, let's try going over to the maybe Acme Warehouse. Maybe that's what they're talking about. The Acme Warehouse is the former Snow White. Dry ah. Cleaning. Nobody's used this place in a while. Yeah, because we didn't read the sign before. Gotcha, okay. Flem is working out of this warehouse. It looks like he got careless. The door's unlocked. What a dummy. All right. All right, let's uh, let's let's do a quick save and then investigate this warehouse. If this is where he's operating out of, then we should probably do it. Uh, increment file and save. Um, add comment. Uh, warehouse. Perfect. All right. Let's do it. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. We're hot on the heels. Mick hang out. He'll probably be back soon. I better try and set some sort of trap for him. Ah. Well, I think we got at least I think maybe what we need to set a trap. All right, what do we got here? Got a bottle on a table. Let's investigate this first. Yummy. A bottle of turnip schnapps. Ooh. I'll bet it's got a real kick. I know this place definitely gives me the creeps. Um, anything with these? I don't think I'll move any of these pallets because they look like big slivers waiting to happen. Fair enough. I have actually gotten, weirdly enough, many slivers for moving pallets for, like, different jobs that I've had. Ooh, this barrel smells like it shouldn't be opened. Yeah, this is definitely a murder warehouse if I've ever seen one. All right, what do we got here? This must be the power box for the warehouse. Ah. And it's locked. Okay, we do have a key, though. I wonder if this is what it goes to. Well, that's not gonna work. Oh, we still haven't found what this key goes to. Okay, um... That old piece of plywood hmm. doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Okay. Crate smells like laundry soap. Crate in front on the floor seems to be partially open. All right, then let's open it up. 
Aha! Uh -huh. Apparently some fireman dropped off his uniform to be cleaned and uh, forgot to pick it up. Okay, so maybe we can combine this with the Inspector Burns mask. Aha! Uh -huh. And now we have an Inspector Burns disguise! Excellent. Yes, okay, so now we can talk to Ardo at some point. I don't know why we want to do that yet. Um, I guess let's go upstairs and see if there's anything we can do here. We still have not found what this key goes to. Oh god. Trolls are so sensitive. And they make no goddamn sense. Uh what do we have here? Okay, so This key must fit a lock around here. Ah, uh, that must be going to the, the power box. Okay. That hook looks pretty heavy duty. So can we use the live crusty doll on it? Or rusty? The rusty doll looks great on the pulley hook, but I'll need to get it to move before it'll do me any good. Okay, so it is moving now. Huh. Yeah, what do we want to do with this? Oh god, that's so horrifying. Whoa, the glow in the dark rusty clown doll looks pretty spooky dangling up there in the Yeah, dark. yeah, it doesn't look great. Okay, so now we got the power switch, so I'm assuming that'll let us move the, the doll around on the hook. Oh god. The controls get like a race car. Hmm. Locked. Okay, so let's give this a try. The heavy uh -huh. here must be phlegm. Luckily my rusty trap's all set. I'll need to find a hiding place as close as possible to the pulley control box. When Phlegm least expects it, I'll throw the pulley lever and bring Rusty back from the Hell head. yes. This is a great dumb plan. Um Crate smells like laundry soap. Crate in front on the floor seems to be partially open. Um, am I hiding here? Where where are we hiding? These footsteps are very ominous. Okay, okay. Oh god, look at this guy. Look at this hairdo. Look at this mustache. Apparently style died in World War Three. Just hanging out. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, oh my god. Great. Great. Perfect. Oh, jeez. I mean, it must be incredibly cold where you are then. Uh, he put something on the table here, though. Ah, this must be the bracelet. Oh, good. This yes. Has to be the bracelet. Of course. What's this, Nick though? Ran off without his keys. I'll bet at least one of these huh. will be in handy. Okay, I mean, uh, we got something out of this. Flem's keys. Yeah, it must be crazy cold for your eyelashes to have frost in them. Uh, can we go outside here? Is this like a way out that we can take? No, but I do love it. Great. That's a great little touch. Like, full on, like, Looney Tunes style. I'm telling you, Ooh. it's impossible. It can't be done. I've tried everything. The prophecy is very clear. What prophecy? We can't Ooh. go on until this step is completed. Surely your unique skills give you opportunity. My ability has gotten us nowhere. Capricorn. Oh damn. For me. What, no, what nefarious planning ahead. is going on here? It's like they can read my mind. We can't let them stop us. Maybe we can use your skills on someone else. I've made inquiries, Ooh. and if he hasn't gotten himself killed, maybe he's just what we need. Maybe oh no, what are they going to do to Tex? Tex Murphy. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, hell yes. Day two. What's our pun for the day? Goose, eggs, and ham. Oh, yes. That's sweet sax.
Oh, yeah. I feel better today than I've felt in a long time. Boy, did I stun Rook when I walked in and handed him that bracelet. Okay, so getting the bracelet back doesn't make me detective of the year, but it does stimulate the confidence plans. <laughs> Maybe I can succeed at this business and turn my career around. We can do it, Tex. If I'm going to do that, I better do something about my fax machine. Ah. Who knows how many new opportunities I've missed to show the world my greatness. Exactly. So now... I'm assuming we got mail with our sweet new credit card that'll let us into the electronic shop. And, oh, there we go. Like the race car we are. Oh boy, mail. Aha, excellent. Okay. So I'm assuming that'll get us That's out of here. Door to the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. And away! Oh god, these stairs. Forgot about this part. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Slow and steady. Okay, so the electronic shop is right here, right? Yeah, excellent, okay. So let's use... Well, that's not gonna work. Uh, ah, perfect, excellent. We need ourselves a new the fax machine. Shop outlet has just moved into the neighborhood. I've heard that the manager's name is Ham Underwood. Ham Underwood. Price junk, but it is conveniently located. God, look at the style of this store. You know, I really feel like people need to bring back more demonic, ominous energy to their retail establishments. All right, let's have a little chat, buddy. That pudgy computer dweeb really has a battered head. All right, let's have a little chat. Hi there, how can I help you? Ooh, let's do a neighborly introduction. I just came by to welcome you to the neighborhood. My name's Tex. Pleased to meet you. My name's Underwood. So, what can I do for you? Looking for a fax machine, my friend. Um, essential office machinery. Do you have fax machines? Sure do. In fact, there's one older model in the blue light special box. Great. I tried not to stare, but it threw me off when I saw how cross-eyed Ham Underwood is. I'll have to keep in mind that anything he says is on the left is probably on the right. Okay. So I'm assuming this is the blue light special box? The fax machine's so outdated, it doesn't even have a brand name. <laughs> and it's better than nothing. Fair enough. I can't get that while the force field is up. Huh. Um, the fax machine's so outdated, it doesn't even have a brand name. And it's better than nothing. Huh, can we use the credit card on it? There we go. Perfect. Great. All right, so we got ourselves a new fax machine. What is this? Pl I want to know what's in uh, here. It's the plasma ball, the season's oh. new toy. Unfortunately, it cost $18,039.99. Aw, oh, damn, I really wanted to get ourselves a plasma ball. Hmm, a teeny disc tote box. Too bad they quit making teeny disc 10 years ago. Huh, what's move? Interesting. Uh, what are this you? Is something called future crate. It must hold more stuff than plain old crates. You'd think so. Okay, what else we got around here? Yum, an imitation Ooh. chocolate keyboard. The perfect Valentine gift for that special computer nerd. Well, we know someone who loves chocolate, so maybe we'll be back for that. What do we got back here? Looks like some kind of space chicken. Oh, that must be a thousand times more delicious than regular chicken. All right, what do we got here? Well, that's interesting. Looks like an alien pineapple. Uh, what about this? Looks like a core sample from an old sofa. An old 1286 with an ancient super duper Ooh. Wowzer VGA monitor. VGA. The future. Ooh, Plan 9 flying saucers. Always good. Very cool. Well, that's either a model of a space station or a four pack of mineral water. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's got a real nice handle. All right, anything else around here while we're, while we're looking? Don't think so. Nothing else, nothing else useful. Oh, we can move this though. Well, that's fun. Okay, let's get out of here. We got our fax machine. Let's get back to the office and hook it up. Actually, it'd probably be faster if we just traveled. Whoop. And Texas office. Let's go. 
rolling. You have a fax. Oh, excellent. As I hook up the new fax machine, a fax prints out. Oh, finally. Maybe this is a real case. The kind you get paid for. That'd be pretty nice. Okay, let's go, go on over and see what kind of uh, case is coming our way. A fax addressed to Tex Murphy from the Countess Ooh. Rainier. A Countess? All right, well, let's examine this. All right. Dear Mr. Murphy, you have been recommended to me as someone capable of handling delicate matters with both competence and discretion. I'm prepared to pay you handsomely in exchange for your services. I prefer to give you the details in person. I do not wish to seem impertinent, but time is of the essence. Please meet me at my residence as soon as possible. The address is 1329 Fillmore, Pacific Heights, Countess M. Renier. All right, I guess uh, we have a new location we can go to, right? Aha! The Countess's Mansion. All right, let's go. Let's see what her story is. Oh, I love this shot of, like, the red bathed Golden, Gra Golden Gate Bridge. The Countess Rainier. Rainier. Smacks of money. Does. Hopefully she doesn't want to hire me to find her lost poodle. As I land my speeder, I see my dream house only bigger. The butler is a tall, thin man about seven. Okay. He tells me the Countess is expecting me and shows me into a large, lavishly furnished oh, drawing room. Okay. I'm the Countess Renier. Please, have a seat. Um, there we go. Thank you. You know, I pictured you being, well, older and heavier. No one is born old, Mr. <laughs> Murphy. Now, shall we discuss our business while we're still young? I love the energy she's got. Okay. Oh, by all means. Pardon my interruption. Your services have been recommended to me by a trusted friend who prefers to remain alone. Fair enough. Apparently everyone does. Suffice it to say that your unique abilities are what I need right now. Well, what what can we get you uh, uh, or find so or, or solve? I'm sure you have many unique abilities. The one I would hire you for is your talent of locating people and things. Okay. I've been told this talent has made you some friends and many enemies. Well, let's see if we can't make one more friend then. Wasn't it Roy Rogers who once said, you can't please all the people all the time? Save your homespun humor <laughs> for a more gullible woman. What I'm asking you to do may make you very unpopular with some people i mean we're already pretty unpopular uh, exactly so how unpopular are we talking here? let me give you some background information then you can decide for yourself okay give us some the whole case ago, a family heirloom was stolen from this bungalow i do keep most of my valuables on my uh -huh. estate in europe but on this visit i brought the piece to show a friend Within hours of my arrival i found it stolen and i have made extensive inquiries trying to retrieve it but I found out nothing. Well, I'm sure I know, I can't wait for her to absolutely destroy what little reputation Tex has. You should be able to buy all the information you need. What makes you think that I can help you? Oh, I don't. I remember hmm. that my friend had told me about you after I had exhausted every other option. Okay, so she has tried to find it herself. God, I love all these virtual sets. They're so good. <laughs> it's so cheesy. You know, referring to me as your last option could automatically double my fee. I already planned on paying you much more than your usual fee. I'm a wealthy young woman, Mr. Murphy. To give you an idea, the stolen artifact alone is worth more money than you could earn oh. in 10 lifetimes. Okay, so well, we'll see what is it? When I win the clearinghouse sweepstakes. <laughs> How quaint. Let's not waste any more time. I need some work done, and I'll pay you well for it. Sure, but you gotta give us some more In information. My experience, getting paid well is a relative term. Your obsession with money is appalling. <laughs> okay. Well, I, have a of I mean, I feel like you might also want to eat. I am a good PI. Well, if you prove to be as good as Ooh, you think you are, thirty I'll pay grand. Thirty thousand dollar finder's fee. Well, let me think about it. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> it didn't that take very long. Mow your lawn at no charge. <laughs> Try to control yourself, Mr. Murphy. He barely can. 
I'll expect you to focus all of your energies on this job, and the methods you use to retrieve the artifact are of no interest to me. Ooh. But as more time elapses, the less likely it is an item will be found. And Fair enough, that, that makes reason, sense. I must require you to find it and to return it to me within one week. And after that, there will be mm. no finder's fee available to you. you that's time, that's a pretty tight turnaround. 40 hours? That's a, that's a joke. All right, let's see if we can't find whatever this artifact, heirloom, whatever it is. As the artifact itself, it is a beautiful statuette made of ah. crystal and shaped in the form of a bird. Okay. It has been in my family for countless generations, and as I said, it wait—is is this the thing that we saw in the opening valuable. video that they pulled there out of the rubble? Collectors who would stop at nothing to Ooh. own it. Whoever stole the statuette would undoubtedly have gone to the black market and offered it to the highest bidder. Unless they wanted it for themselves. I, think I saw that statuette you're talking about. Someone was selling it on the Home Shopping Network. <laughs> well, I had no idea. It was so I'm glad expensive. the Home Shopping Network exists after World you War III. Jokes, but you cannot possibly know how rare and valuable the statuette is. And now that you have all the necessary information, we'll end this charming visit. Don't okay. bother contacting me until you have the statuette in your possession. Makes sense. And if you are successful in your search, it could change my opinion of you considerably. My valet will give you a retainer of $1,000 on your oh. way out. Okay. Bye, Mr. Murphy. I didn't tell the Countess, but I would have done damn near anything for $30,000. Now I've got to find a link to the black market. How hard can it be? How hard indeed, Tex. How hard indeed. Okay. Um, I guess let's start off by going to Chandler Avenue. Yeah, seems like the the safe safest option. Hmm. I guess yeah. Let's start talking to people. Let's see what uh, anyone knows about this. We've got an investigation to do. Uh. Well, let's. Do you know what? Let's first off at uh, stop off at the pub, since that seems like the. The uh, home of all of the town miscreants. Woo, like the race car. Uh, what can I get you? How's it going, buddy? Um, hmm, what can we ask him about? Ah, uh, we can ask him about Ham Underwood. I don't know how useful that is, but uh, we can. Uh, wow, ask about the Cantus and the statuette. Okay, so we've asked about everything so far. Let's ask about Ham. Ham just opened the electronics place a while ago. Yep, we know. He's come by for lunch a couple of times. Usually oh. orders the brains and eggs platter. Good for him, I guess, but that is stomach turning. Uh, what do you know about the Countess? Sorry, Mife. Can't to be fair, I, I don't know why anyone around here would know about the Countess, but what about the statuette? Sorry, Mife. Okay. Can't help you there. Weird that there's no option to ask about Black Market, but maybe there's someone specific who might know. Uh, maybe the pawn shop. Uh, well, while we're here, let's go uh, chat with the pizza place. We haven't run into Sal yet, but we all we know is that he is a serial adulterer. What can I do for you? How's it going, Francesca? Um, let's see. What about Ham? He opened that radioactive shack across to the street. Uh, I haven't spoken with him yet. Okay. What about uh, the Countess? Sorry. No, nope, that's fair. Again, I don't know anyone to know about her, but it's good to ask everyone. Sorry. Ask me about something else. Okay. And do we still have... Yeah, we still have the healing balloon and the Inspector Burns disguise. Interesting. Okay. As well as Flem's keys, which we don't have a use for yet. But, uh... Thanks for the chat. Alright, we already went to the electronic shop, but we haven't talked to him about much yet. Let's... Uh, let's go to the alley. Let's talk to our, our, our bum friend. Oh, looks like ask away. All right. Um, let's ask him. I guess first about ham. Oh, don't know a thing about it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, what about the countess? Sorry, can't help you with that. Also, not surprising. But what about the statuette? Wish I could help. Uh, I was hoping this guy might know something about the black market. 
Okay, well, let's... I, I guess we can go around the, the back to get into uh, the pawn shop. Sure, why not? What now, Murphy? Uh, let's ask him about everything. Let's talk about ham first. I don't know what you think about that. Fair enough, fair enough. What about uh, the Countess? I don't know what you think about that. Now, the statuette might be... Oh, man, I was really hoping that he would have something on this. And there's nothing here about... Nope, no, no black market topic. Okay, uh, exit the street. Let's uh, have a chat with uh, Chelsea. She seems more informed than most. Hey, I heard you took care of Rook. Pretty. Oh, right. thanks. Do you know what? A phone case is not a bad purchase at any time because, uh, you know, it's nice to even change them out. Just kind of almost like have like a, a rotating look. Um, Let's do modest and unemployed. Well, thanks. Maybe word will get around and scare up some more work for me. Oh, I'm sure it will. Maybe then you'll have some money and quit mooching <laughs> off me. Um, let's do tenderhearted. Come on, Chelsea. Let me savor my success for a while. Okay, but not for too long. I like to keep you humble. You gotta keep Tex humble. Gee, thanks. Yeah, so, exactly. Is there something you came to ask me about? You know, a, a phone is like an everyday essential, like, carry. So you may as well have a couple different ways that you want to, like... You know, style it almost. Uh, okay, so let's ask about Ham first. He's only been here a few weeks, and I don't know much about him. That's fair. What about the Countess? Wish I, Man, I really thought she would know something about the Countess. What about the statuette? Ah, it's a real hot item. Franco Franco. The top commodities dealer in the city is named Franco Franco. Oh, Franco. She sorry. Has the statuette. Or knows who has it. Okay, so I guess now we know Franco Franco. Franco Franco. I don't know how you're going to find him, but if you do, be careful. Okay. So this is the, the, the first lead, I guess. You know what? I knew she would be uh, knowledgeable on the matter. All right, so with that, I guess maybe now we can talk to the, the pawn shop. Maybe talk to Rook now. I wonder if we can go into... Hmm... Oh, I, I absolutely think that there's going to be a, a device that eventually replaces phones as, like, the the most essential thing, right? You know, I think a lot of people are betting on, like, AR or AR-VR equipment. You know, just like a stylish pair of glasses or something that you can put on. Judas Murphy, can't you find something else to do besides bothering me? Oh, come on. We, we just did you that solid. Oh, uh, let's go ask about Franco Franco. Big time crook. Deals with a lot of uh, oh, smuggled artifacts. Google Glasses like. were an absolute He's pretty gambolic with the mob and black product, though. Here in San Francisco. Okay. Hmm. That's not especially helpful. All right. Well, I guess... Yeah, I think that's probably it for him. All right. Let's uh, maybe talk with the electronic shop now. Maybe he might know something. Can we just open this? No, of course not. Um, uh, inventory. We have to use this every time, huh? Of course we do. Like, you know, there's been a long rumored um, Apple AR VR glasses that are going to be just like look like a regular pair of frames. But like connect to your phone as like the, the central processing unit. Let's have a chat with this guy. How's it going? You here to do more shopping? Um, I'm here to do some talking. Um, down to business. No, I came by to yeah. get some information from you. Let's finally have a chat with this guy. <laughs> I sell gadgets, not information. Feel free to look around. Well, the problem the is, like every Google I product, they half-assed it. About the merchandise. Like they never. Oh, we can't even talk with him. Damn. Okay. Well, I guess we're leaving. Um, maybe we can go to the hotel now. Yeah, maybe the hotel. Like, I don't know if you saw, but basically Stadia, Google Stadia is basically kaput. Like, they closed all their internal studios that were making, like, original games. I wonder if we can go up to Coit Tower. I wonder if our, uh, Hi, nosy friend is up there. Well, yes. My new nose. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so Ooh. happy for you, buddy. I'm gonna look at like a new man. Aw, see, do you know what? That's that's great. 
Um, uh, do you know what? Let's just go his well, gratitude. Swell, Beak. Hope you're feeling grateful enough to answer some more. You're questions. looking great, Beak. Yeah, sure. Give me a thing. Um, let's see. Can we ask him about? Let's start. Let's start with Ham first. I can't help you there. Ah, eh, fair enough. All right. What about the Countess? I haven't got any info mm. on that. I can't help you there. I've heard his name in connection uh, with some smuggling and uh, illegal God damn it. importing. I, I was really hoping anymore. our our nosy friend would help us. All right. Good talking to you, Beak. Okay. So nothing from him. I guess the only other main location is the hotel, right? I heard that Ardo shuts the place down no. every once in a while to do fire mm. safety upgrades. Mm. Maybe he's painting fire extinguishers in all the rooms. Okay. Nothing to do with him. So we need to somehow get a connection to the black market. Ah. Oh. Maybe... Maybe we can talk with the bar? Our, our good friend? Uh, Louie, right? Yeah, let's try that. Maybe he knows something about Franco Franco. Oh, too bad no. you don't like fresh brains. Mike. Yeah, really, really not a fan of the brains. Hot off the grill. Ugh, I imagine brains would be so bad off a grill too. They're so watery. Ugh. Uh, what about Franco Franco? Sorry, Mife. I love the way this guy that. throws up his hands. It's so funny every time. Um. Well, we can open the door from over here, so let's go. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, maybe we what go to the police station? Uh, ask about... Let's try Franco Franco. Can't help you, Tex. Yeah. Seems like no one knows anything about him here, so why don't we try going to a different spot? Why don't we try the police station? Maybe we can get something out of him. You know, basically trick him into giving us, uh... The, the the heads up on where this guy might be. Hey Murphy, guess what? We got the guy who robbed those pawn shops. Turned himself in. Can yeah. You believe it? Nope. Don't know Get anything back. about clowns. Something about a clown coming back from the dead to huh. haunt him. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> um. Uh, let's do a tongue and cheek kudos. Congratulations, Mac. Maybe now your hemorrhoids will calm down. <laughs> You're a real joker. But not even you can ruin my day. So what do you want? Ooh. Can we ask him about Franco Franco just straight up? He's a big time crook. Deals with stolen and okay. illegally imported merchandise. Especially Jay. Ah. Okay. Sorry, Murphy. Okay, so we got an extra lead now. So he mostly deals in Jade. So I guess now we have to find someone else who might know about Jade dealing. Uh, what about the statuette? Can't help you with that. Uh, what about the Countess? Jeez, Tex, you think I know about everything? I mean, this is a good moment because you rarely want to talk to us. Sorry, Murphy. Fair enough. Uh, what about Beak? Beak's a real valuable contact on the street, oh, yeah. but he doesn't come cheap. Nope. Uh, what about Rusty Clown? He was a wacko who had a kid show on TV years ago. He quit the TV biz and opened a novelty shop somewhere in the mutant section. Word is, he got involved with the illegal novelty trade. Yep. Got himself killed. That we do he know. Disappeared months ago. Uh, would you like to know where the body is? Because it's more of a soup than a body right now. Uh, what about the crusade? Some of the cops here at the station joined the crusade. Of course they did. Here anymore. I don't take much stock in religious movements, but it sure turned those guys into fanatics. Yeah, that checks out. Um, What is this colonel? Of course I know the colonel. Didn't he teach you the business? He's the best PI I've ever worked with. No offense. We scratch each other's backs. Okay. He's been busy with some case, and I haven't uh -huh. seen him for a few weeks. Uh, what about Mac? I've been okay. Little indigestion now and again, but nothing serious. So you're Mac Malden, gotcha. So the colonel is the guy who uh, came to our office at the beginning. Um, yeah, I can't imagine why you would know any of this stuff, so uh, let's head out of here. So now we know about Jade. So let's go here and let's go to uh, probably the pawn shop first. Yeah, I like that. 